Hello, my name is Steve Francisca Oliver, but if you're watching me for the very first time, thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Guys, in today's video, I want to be listing some, I want to be listing few things that can cause CS in a woman. You know, some so many people have really lose their life because of this sensational section of a team. Many people will go ahead and say that my mother did not deliver with CS, therefore I will not deliver. My father's mother, my this, my that, my is not in our gene, uh, in our gene, this and that. There are some other things that can cause sensational section, CS. So stay tuned and watch to the end. And please, as you're watching the video and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that red notification and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to start this in a woman. Number one is what? One thing that can cause serious in a woman is what? Cephalopelvic. Yes, and what is cephalopelvic? Cephalo, this causes as a result of the baby's head being what? Big. When the baby's head is too bigger than your service, it can do what can lead to CS because you cannot come there and scatter your leg because of you want to deliver. So once you notice that your baby's head is too big or whenever you go to scan and the doctor tell you that, Madam, your baby's head is too big, you cannot deliver your baby through VJ. So please, Try as much as possible to listen to the doctor to do what to do what he asks you to do because he's doing it for your own sake. Don't go out there to risk your life because of you want to deliver through um, a, a, a vagina. So there's no method of giving birth that is abnormal. All of them are normal. Thanks to the science scientists who find out that we can, uh, women can deliver through their abdomen that is cs so god bless god bless the scientists that did what that find out that a woman can deliver their baby through what cs because as you mean there is no there is no cs there so many women might lose their life or lose their children as a result of what giving birth so once the doctor tell you that madam this is what you are going to do to deliver your baby safely please try as much as possible to do what to listening to him is for your own good is you are not doing the doctor you are doing it to yourself so another thing again pardon me i have a piece of book with me here so another thing again that can cause that can cause uh, that can lead to cs in a woman during childbirth is what's it for that distress like when i gave birth to my first issue that is the reason why i gave birth to my second child which was with cs I mean, my first issue with yes, my baby's got to a certain point that his heart beat was dropping. So there is no other means that I can that they can save my baby's life than to do well than to carry out that CS. And to the glory of God, my baby is alive today, and I am alive. As you can see me at the screen, so I tell you that this is what you do in order for you to save your life and save your baby's life please make sure make sure you listen to them they know more than you they more they know more than you so please make sure you listen to them they cannot deceive you another thing that can make you to deliver with cs is baby bridge you know when a woman reaches rich nemos the baby will turn then the head will be will turn to the pelvic side and when a woman is up to that nine months and the baby doesn't turn the baby still sits instead of turn turn upside and then the baby is sitting so it can make a woman to do what to deliver the baby through or see it because if you are asked to push the baby you cannot be able to push the baby it will lead some some health challenges it can even make you to be having waist pain after the childbirth so it's advisable to do what to carry out that cs to save your world to save your life and also to save the baby's life too one of my cousins deliver the baby that sits down and up to today he's still complaining about his waist so once the doctor tell you to do what to carry out 
see yes in order to save your life or to save your baby's life please try as much as possible to do or to do it they're doing it for your own good another thing that can make a woman to carry out cs is what multi multiple was cessations when a woman have already do first year second one third one you're not expected to do what to carry out cs even your second one once you carry out your first years you're not advisable to do what carry out the second one unless there's a reason that makes the doctor to tell you to do that what cs there's some my dears their bone is okay they can deliver but at the end of everything they end up doing what not giving birth to vj they carry out cs so in your second child delivery you might not carry out cs or you might carry out cs the reason why you you might not carry out cs is that if it is to save the baby's life or yes if the child's uh, breathing is dropping you are advised to do what to carry out what cs cs yes like for instance if you deliver your first child with cs second one with cs third one you're not advisable to do what to carry out see uh, to to carry out vagina with bed because at the process of pushing the baby the the scale the tear they gave you them might might do what open again thereby causing making you to do pass through cs again so instead of you to be passing this stress and yes stress and whatever you are advised to do what to go straight to the point and do what to carry out cs like when i gave it my first issue yeah i worked i waited for some years before giving birth so i ended up i end up giving my giving birth to what cs reason my first child was cs so they told me that they can't take the chances of of rushing me to the theater for CS when I'm about to give birth to my VJ. So that is why they advised me to do what to go for the second word CS. You understand what I'm, I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So when you do your first one. When you get back to your first one through CS, your second you are advised to go to deliver your second or your third child with what CS. Although some people do give birth with CS the first issue, then the second one they might not give birth to their second issue through CS, depending on the cause of their what the first CS. So these are the things that can do that can make you to deliver your child through what CS that can make you to deliver your child through CS is what placenta prevail. When no when you are pregnant like this, your placenta is supposed to be as when you are about to give birth. When you are approach when you are approaching nine months, your pla your placenta is supposed to lie at the top or by the side. Yes. But a process whereby the placenta is on the child's uh, this thing is is lying under the child. Yes, you are you will be advised to do uh, to carry out what cesarean section because it might injure, it might lead to bleeding, or it might cause to the death of the child. So, you will, in this process, you are advised to do uh, to carry out cesarean section so another thing again that can make that can make a woman to do what to give birth to her baby through cs is what health concerns if a woman is having bp she will not be advised to do what to carry out uh, to push the baby whether you can push it or not you are not advised to do what to push the baby because it might lead lead to another problem so that is why you are advised to do what carry out cessation or when you are having hiv hiv issues you are not allowed to do what to give better vj you are advised to do what to give better c section so that you will not be able to come transfer that disease to your child so that is why you deliver your that is 
the reason why some women deliver their child through CS. Another thing again that can make you to to give birth through CS is height pelvic. I don't know how I'm going to put it. Yes, when your pelvic is too tight that the baby cannot be able to pass there, we'll be able to do what to carry out your C section. So this is a little that I know. If you know other things that can make a woman to give birth to you, say please let me see them at the comment section there. Thank you so much for watching me. And if you are still watching this video to this point, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. No method of giving birth is abnormal. All the method of giving birth is safe, safe and yes, no method of giving birth is even no method of giving birth is even easy. V giving birth through vagina is not easy. Giving birth through CS is not easy. So don't put your life at risk. Don't put your baby's life at risk by giving birth through vagina or yes, by giving birth through vagina when the doctor I already make it made it clear to you that you cannot deliver your child through through vagina. Please, mothers, through obey what our our doctors are telling us thank you so much